culture had grown so much internationally, you know, like mm -hmm. in terms of it's being it's being picked up. I mean, you got Peru, South Africa, Australia, Japan, Korea, Europe, Europe Russia, where the art form is, you know, where hip hop was spanning across the globe, you know, in the late eighties, early nineties, you know, as people started to what is this you know, culture that's developing. Mm -hmm. Beatboxing just started going through that in the last decade. Right? So you've got this element of hip hop that I don't want to say it was sh it wasn't shunned away, but it was kind of looked at as a side a side note. Oh, that's cool, you know? That's cute. Novelty. You know? A novelty. <laughs> you know? Um really started to develop into not just a, a, a sub like a like an element, but a culture all all its own to where you had competitions and battles and things going up. And, and a lot of that did start with Rozell because, you know, Rozell was probably like the first one to actually get international like exposure through his yeah. work with The Roots and everybody was like, oh, what's that? You know, because he had the album, I think it was on MCA or something like that. And so, but over the past, you know, 10 years, we've watched as the art has really blown up in all these other places and here you know it gets its shine on American Idol or America's Got Talent or Timbaland or Justin will will be will use it to make entire tracks or Michael Jackson will use it to make a track you know but it they never people didn't really look at it as its own uh, culture and it's you know and so that's really what we're working to do here so we had about 65 different beatboxers from Alaska to Hawaii to Florida to, you know, why, I mean, like, almost 45 different states, you know, uh, that, that competed and started, you know, and one by one they fall off, you know, and so we whittled it down to the top eight. So, you know, I wanted to do it, one, because, you know, beatboxing has done a lot for me, like, I, like as an artist, just personally, um, and I really feel like in order for the art form to grow here, there has to be a give back, you know, that's not necessarily look at me. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about the love that we've gotten in terms of putting together this event because there was very little response from anything that was mainstream, you know. Like, <clears throat> when you go overseas to see other national championships, you know, they've got major Panasonic, Duracell, you know. And it's because the culture wasn't developed enough here, you know. I mean, like, there's lots of beatboxing in commercials from Sprint to Sprite, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, yeah, you know. And but what I wanted the cultures, the the companies to do was to reinvest in the culture. Right? Don't just put the art form on TV to sell the product. Like, mm -hmm. invest in the culture a little bit because it it needed that. And so what we found is that a lot of Brooklyn you know, really came to support them. We had the new hotel, which is this boutique hotel um, in downtown Brooklyn. It's like this new, um, almost luxury-ish kind of hotel. <coughs> they, uh, you know, they came on board as a sponsor. And then we had, you know, magazines to begin to, to come on board and help and help us push it, you know. And so I definitely agree with you in terms of the, the love of the art form is there. But I think at this event on July 31st at Littlefield, um, people are really going to see where the art form has evolved to. And that just just like it was dope when you first saw that a b-boy spin on their head and you're like, yo, what is that? <laughs> you know, I, you know, I think you're going to see the same thing when you see some of these beatboxing performers, you know. And then the, the other thing I think that's really cool about our culture right now is that it's so young. You know, like, like we've got kids that are like 15, 16, 12, you know, they're like beatboxing, oh snap, and, they and, and they're, and they're passionate, and they're so passionate about it, I mean, I've got, I've got uh, people driving up from, kids driving up from Virginia and coming in from Toronto to help participate in this event just to promote the championships, and then come back for the championships two weeks later, you know, uh -huh. so it's like the, 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 the amount of heart and passion, you know, that is in the generation that's coming up, is so inspiring that, you know, why not create, uh, uh, you know, a beatbox championship and, 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 and in America. And one of the other things I think about it is, it was one of those things I think that everyone else sleeps on. You know, it's kind of how, like Russell Simmons would say, you know, I, you got hip hop over here. All of these executives <laughs> is, are like, you know, I don't know where they got their thumbs, you know, but 
there's something special here and, and I think that, that that's also here you know and it's not necessarily just you know to profit from it but to allow for it to be self-sustaining you know it's like you, you the culture you know because it's like skateboarders took control of their industry you know uh, graphic Literally. designers yeah fashion designers <laughs> right right snowboarders even right 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 like they they, they, they built this infrastructure of competitions and, and, and so forth to where now, you know, snowboarding is an Olympic sport. When I first thought about it, um, you know, I, I guess I knew how much work it would be, but I didn't really, I don't think I really saw the full scope of how much work it would be. You know? <laughs> um, and I don't regret any of it. You know, I think it's definitely going to be worth it. You know, um, you know, I think, I think that that it's the you know we got Jay Roby from Tribe Called Quest coming through to be one of the judges along with a couple of other incredible people. So it's like the love is that's been shown to keep it afloat is there. So I, you know, so I, it's like I can't just say that you know it's me working on it. Though sometimes it feels like that. You know. <laughs> It's like the I think the love and the support that comes from all of the other artists are really what's going to make it an incredible weekend. The thing is that you know, in a city of 19 million people in the surrounding area, you know, it's, it's it can you know it can be overload of information. So I think my biggest challenge at this point out is letting people get the word out there to New York that yo the first American beatboxing championships ever is about to take place. You know, ever. You know what I mean? Um, so I think that's my uh, that's my challenge over the next couple of weeks. So we're gonna go to the Brooklyn Hip Hop Festival, where we're gonna have a whole day of you know events that we were telling you about. You know, mm -hmm. featuring various beatboxing performers and, and just musicians that are gonna come through work with beatboxing. We also um, it's gonna be the first time we're demoing the Beat Thing, which is a hardware, the new uh, beat machine. It's a hip hop's first electronic drum machine, which I'm. Uh, one of the voices behind it, um, and, and so we're going to be premiering that machine uh, there. So I know a lot of a lot of hip hop heads who've been waiting to get their hands on the beat thing. Uh, they that will be the only place that they'll actually be able to physically touch it and bang out a beat on it. Gotcha. Um, there at the Brooklyn Hip Hop Festival at our booth. I don't know which what number our booth is, but um, yeah, it's going to be a really amazing day of of really celebrating. Uh, almost like the rebirth of beatboxing here in the States. I'm really hoping that people come out for this because it's, you know, if you care about hip hop and you really you are care a hip hop head, <laughs> you know, you would probably want to be at the first American beatboxing championships because there's only one first. Yeah, right? Exactly. So, and everybody remembers the first. <laughs> right, right. You know, so, so yeah, so we've got love. I mean, you know, like I said, uh, Hassan Salam's in the house. Jay Roby from Tribe Called Quest is going to be in the house. Maya Azusain is in the house. You know, my man Adam Mata's in the house. We've got cats coming in from Toronto, London, South Africa. You know, it's like, it's really, you know, it's really people coming together for the fifth element of hip hop, you know, which is 